Say, I will not die. But I will live and testify the goodness of God. Say, I cannot die. Viewers say, I cannot die. I will live and testify the goodness of God. Celebrate Jesus. It is good to be in the presence of God. People have been taking advantage of the things of God. I'm always nagging on it. Taking advantage of the things of God is very, very bad. If somebody pick up his sword, his mind is going to destroy the people of God. If somebody has been in government, his mind is to look for people of God and destroy the church of God. Because I'm a Christian, I don't have any privilege. As a child of God, I deserve to die. But I'm not going to die. Heavenly race has been there in ancient days, today and forever. Heavenly race has been a challenge to the people of God. Persecutions has been there. Persecutors has been coming, going, coming, going, but God never changed. A child of God must be a brave person. A child of God must be a, a, a clever person. A child of God must be a warrior. Remember during the time of Jesus Christ and his own followers. They were going, but Jesus taught them something. I'm sending you out. If you don't have salt, sell your clothes and buy one. Being vigilant, you must be vigilant as a child of God. You don't just fold yourself. You don't just fold your hand for you to die in the hand of this carcass. On your way going, be vigilant. On your way coming, be vigilant. Whatever you are doing, you need to be vigilant and open your eyes in order to face whatever that will come upon your life and your community. Tell somebody, say, you will not die. I'm going to take you to the Holy Book and you are going to read with me Ephesians chapter 6. And I would like everybody to rise and voice out, read this Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 13. Glory be to God. Now I want to go. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the weak. Verse Please make yourself comfortable. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mighty. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the ways, the ways of the devil. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 
that ye may be able to withstand the, the, the devil. That ye may withstand, that ye may be able to withstand in the devil the evil day and have done all this to stand. Listen. It is not funny. Children of God, it is not funny. And it's not something you complain and complain. A particular hymn say, watch and pray. When you pray, you watch. If others are running, you run with them. If they are sitting, you sit with them. If they are fighting, fight with them. There's a, a saying I know that do not give up. Never you ever give up. During the time of the people of Israel, God said to them, make war against your enemies and I'll be with you. Now look at this spiritual teaching. Brethren, be strong. Tell somebody say be strong. Don't, the word of God does not say be weak and cry. The word of God says, be brethren, be what? Strong. Be strong. What does that mean? You need to be strong. Hold your heart and face whatever that is facing you. Somebody say, I'm ready. I say, be strong in the Lord. God is the author and the finisher. God is the number one. In any way you call upon his name. Then you need to be like God being strong. He said, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his mighty. Now, if God has anointed you, use that anointing and redeem your community. As a servant of God, wherever you are worldwide, use what God has placed in you protect where you are protect that serum use that anointing you can use a made the to walk you can make the deaf to talk use it and make the enemy of the community to go blind use it and make the enemies of the community to go cripple use it and make the enemies of the community to go deaf and dumb use it and make the enemies of the community to be in the sick bed as a stroke people. I don't know what I'm telling somebody here. Be strong in the Lord and use what is in you to fight. If you don't fight, you will die. If you don't get up, use that your experience, your connection, and serve your community. Serve your family. Save the church of God. He said, put the power of God. Verse 11. He said, put all the whole armor of God. The experience you have got in the things of God. Put it on. Fight. Psychological warfare. Physical warfare. Fight. And do not run away from your responsibility. He said, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand against the wills of the devil. The wills of the demons. You know, some people come here and say, and the devil. I don't believe that. Who is the devil? The demons. The wicked people, they are the demons. Because none of you have ever seen devil before. But that person that will stand to make you cry is a demon. That person that will butcher your mother is a demon. That person that will slay your children is a demon. I, over, I just saw two days ago, yesterday, a woman who gave birth to a twins. And this demon called the terrorists. Barge into their home, pick up these children, kill them, and throw their flesh to dogs. They are the demon. They are the devil. Whatever you do to wipe them, may God be with you. I'm not hearing somebody. He said, it's time that you're going to open. This is a prophecy. The prophecy has come to pass. 
This is a prophecy of Apostle Shahu in Hebrew, Saul in Greek, Paul in Greek. So, whatever you can call, according to where you are looking or following me, he said, The prophecy, but strength, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Watch here. Against powers, against the rulers, the government, and against and of the rulers of the darkness, those of them in occultist places, and of this world, against spiritual wickedness. The people that claim they are fighting for God, wickedness spiritual, in high what places. That is our battle today. Your battle is not that I want to see them and my brother says I should not see them. You have war in your community. I pity for the people, the country of Afghanistan. You have war because you believe to serve God, not to serve idol, and they are persecuting you. You believe to serve God, not idol, and they are killing you. You believe to do work of God. Listen, the early stage of my prophecy I say something. That should be 29 of January. 29 of January 2021, we had prophetic night. I say, I, I, I saw crisis that this one is a good one. I saw Biafra soldiers. And I saw Nigerian soldiers and the number of their Biafras that will die this year will be much. But I'm seeing Biafra soldiers, they did not give up. And I saw war. Now you are still in war. And I gave advice in that prophecy. If you go online, I said the police people, the soldiers, they are our brothers. And our sisters they are our uncle our husbands our sons likewise the Biafran soldiers pray that God can bring something peace now I am fighting my own brother my blood my blood is fighting against me and some people in a high places are there laughing at us killing ourselves because they want to achieve their selfish interests. May God fight for our people. Yeah. Are you hear what I'm saying? You bring out our soldiers. The police, the soldiers, is your own brothers, your blood. The soldiers from Biafra, your own blood. Then who is causing us to fight? They are in high places. Denying us our rights. Denying you your salaries every month. Two, three, four, five months. Government is still withholding your own salary. And somebody come to speak for you. And they will, the same people that are withholding your salary will ask you to kill your own brother that want to speak for you. You see... The battle is not what you think. The battle is not flesh and blood. I, I saw the, the, the Imo State people, a particular place in Imo State, they were uh, protesting a few days ago that government came to use their land and give the people that are killing us for them to use and trailing their cows. Not to buy from them, but to take it by force from them because they cannot do anything. Bringing enemies in the midst of the people that are managing themselves is you know corruption. Pray the prayer you can pray very well. The, 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 if you are a singer, you know how you're gonna sing, and God hears you. If you are a, whatever God has given to you, use it as a weapon to defend your community. I warn you earlier stage, the police people. The armies, your, your own blood. And who is causing you and I to kill ourselves? 
they are somewhere laughing at us, claiming what they are not. If you see them in the house speaking grammars, what is it to speak? We solve the problem. Actions speak down voice. There is no action. I've been watching the people of Afghanistan, how they are going to, they will, call, they will call them out and lie them down. What was their offense? Because they are Christians. You'll be killing your own blood one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, because somebody decided to follow God through a prophet. Jesus Christ, Yahushua Hamashiach. Then you decided to follow God through a prophet, Prophet Muhammad. And this person decided to follow God through a prophet, Prophet Jesus Christ. Is that why you want to kill him? The same God. You are calling Allah, the same God. I am calling Adonai. Is that why you want to kill me? Is that why you are killing your own people? Then what do you want to gain at last? Corruption is what you, children of God, must pray against. And never you involve yourself in corruption. You see somebody dressing in a uniform and you are seeing him as your own enemy. He is not your enemy. Remember, he is obeying the people in top. That's why you are seeing your own brother and you want to butcher him. Because he's wearing uniform, serving the city, serving the country. If we can learn how to stop killing them, they are not our problem. Because killing them cannot make any change. But if you can make any move from top, then you will see changes in our community. I don't know what I'm talking to somebody here. Some of you here, your husband are in force. Some of your brothers, they are in force. And they are scared to wear the uniform. You train them, you and I pay their school fees to study either in police, in navy, in military, for them to become force people. We pay the money and they are not any much. Every month they are not any much. They cannot be your problem. The people that they are serving is your problem. They are the ones that denying you and I our rights. They are the people that denying our rights from us. Then pray that God can use anything to take them out. Because God has many ways to fight. Either God, when God visited Nebuchadnezzar, you know, he was a king. God turned him and he became animal. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God visited the king of Babylon and dealt with him. God visited the king of Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, and he dealt with him. God visited Aaron, Aaron Herod and took his life and changed his calm. God can use any means if you pray, put the armor of prayers, make let there be change in our society, in our community. That person that claimed to be a leader, if he is not leading well, God can change him by any means without you shedding blood. God can change him by any means without you and I shedding blood. Prayers and people of Israel prayed God choose a servant God can change him and the miracle of God began to perform God killed the first son the heir apparent to the king Pharaoh and all first son in the land of Egypt and the Pharaoh gave up he allowed people to go prayers if you say you are a powerful man of God, I am praying. Prayers. Any government 
that will cause bloodshed. May God take away that government in our life. Yeah. Prayers. Making people's life uncomfortable. Everybody's afraid. How can I see my own brother and kill my brother? You see, you see, you see, listen, you, you see your brother's business, goose, arriving that through that goose you can establish your commitment, you burn it into ashes. Can't you see that the battle is against us now? We need to channel and know where our problem is coming from. When I was small, I met a lady yesterday that came to me. She has a PhD degree, but she has no work. She has no work. Do you know how much you, the parents spent in training her? From nursing school to that level, but she has no work. I, I see some professional doctors in the civil servant, the government still owing them for no just cause. I'll be showing you all kinds of things in television, how serious they are in working. What kind of work is that? Are they working it by their own hand? Prayers is what you, a child of God, need to pray. If you can speak in tongues spiritually, talk to God in the language that He may, he, through you, God can bring changes. All I know that Jesus Christ said, It's not by mine, it's not by my power, but with prayer that this mountain shall be what? Uproot. May the mountain in your community and society at large. That being a stumbling block be uprooted. Yeah. The people of Israel, they met stumbling block on their way to their destination. When they saw it, this has become a stumbling block. What was that? The walls of Jericho. And the man of God said the face of God, what shall we do? He said, pray seven times. Blow the trumpet seven times. Tell the Levites, meaning the ministers, to pray. And this word that has been a stumbling block to our destiny, destination, more surely for that. And they prayed and they sang. They blow the trumpet according to the direction. And the words of Jericho fell down. And they continue their race. And I'm telling you that word of Jericho, that word of Jericho, wherever that word is, standing against the joy of our community and society, must surely fall down. It must. As I said in first service, when I was small, once in a while you see ambulance. When I was small, once in a while in the village, because I grew in the village, I spent some time in the village with my grandmother. Once in a while you see ambulance, and when ambulance is coming in the community, every community, all the community will be remain quiet. And when the gasket has been, is coming out from the ambulance, little kids will run inside. Pregnant women, they will go inside some people that are not fit because it's not good to see dead body anyhow but today dead body is everywhere it's too common in our land our children they don't fear dead body again because they are used to that what is the cause of that corruption and you are telling me corruption after so many years in university our sons and daughters will graduate. They came out with nothing, absolute nothing. No job. Talking about youth empowerment, how many people has been employed? Talking about all these things, who will speak for us? The prophecy of Apostle Paul, Shahu, says that put the armor of God, consult heaven, let heaven. Rainy season can be a weapon against an enemy. The thunders can be a weapon against our enemy. Dry season can dry them up. Are you hearing me? Anything, all these things, they are the horses of heaven. 
The wind is the horses of heaven. They are soldiers. Earthquake is they are soldiers. All kinds of diseases, infection diseases that goes on air, God can use them to eliminate them. Pray and tell God to do that. A man of God has to pray because it's no more funny. Widows everywhere. Come to prison yard, you will see our youth. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And you want to tell me that youth is the future of our life. Where are they? In prison yard. They have been butchered for no just cause. Because they say enough is enough. So one funniest thing I want to correct is this. Please, our brothers who has been in force, our sons in force, our daughters in force, you are the one that trained them. You pay their school fees. I pay their school fees. Why are you cleaning them? They are not your problem. Prayers! God can do something as a child of God. Believe me, God said in his word, Whosoever that call upon me in time of trouble shall be served. So we call upon God in time of trouble. I'm serving God at throne of Elias. Another people are serving God in another church. Another people are serving God in particular monks. Another people are serving God in different monks for the glory of God. Why are you against me? Why am I against you? This is bad for you and for me. What are we teaching our children? Come to so many communities as I teach you the other time. The time to send your children to school, you are giving them guns to know how to shoot guns. A child of five, a child of seven, a small boy of eight years is now shooting gun. Shooting gun. Is that the school? Then what kind of development and civilization are you expecting to come in your community in future? You say you are fighting for God. You are not fighting for God. You are fighting for selfish interests. They are using you. They are using me. They are using us. All their children is in overseas, a comfortable place. And they are here using you and I. You can't see any of their children in that war front. So what do you think that is happening to you? Thought somebody say you will not die. So what do you think is happening? Somebody will spend some years, months in outside country. You come back to your own mother home and you are butchered for no just cause. Prayers. God intervention. Prayers. God can use any weapon, any weapon of his choice. But you speak to him and you see him acting. At a point, the war is much to the people of Israel. Moses stood before the Red Sea and said, God arise, let my enemies be scattered. When, listen, when the prophets, Elijah ran away because the war is much. He spent some time and God said, return back to the city. Call upon me. You see what I will do. Through prayers, he conquered all those false prophets that is against his prophetic ministry. And God fight for him. God destroy them. Prayers. Stop complaining. Use that time you are using for complaint and pray. So many of you are travelers. You can't travel now. Remember a few years ago, how things were. Life was very sweet. You can come to any corner and have your drink. You can come to any place and have your chap meal. You can come, you have life was very, very you travel all corners. I travel to your state, you travel to my state. But today you don't have that access of traveling anymore because a particular ghost, a particular people on top. So our battle is not flesh and blood but principalities powers of darkness in high world places may god fight for our people yeah. may god fight for your people yeah. may god fight for your people yeah. may god fight for your people
in any community they are intimidating you may God arise and fight for you in that country they are intimidating you and butchering you may God wipe them wipe them off may God use any weapon and destroy the wicked ones all those people that are using us killing ourselves a brother killing a brother a sister killing in the name of Jesus God will fight for you God will fight for you in this state God will fight for you in this country God will fight for you in Africa God will fight for you in Asia God will fight for you in Europe God will fight for you in the whole world God will fight for you may God take away the carcass may he take them away may he take them away in the name of Jesus you celebrate Jesus thank you